Africans and African Americans participating in events marking 400 years since the start of slavery in the United States say everyone must work harder to unite societies divided along racial and economic lines. Viewer reporter Kenneth Bure reports from Norfolk, Virginia, where people gathered Saturday to observe the anniversary of the beginning of more than two centuries of slavery in English-speaking America. Near the spot where historians say 20 captives from Angola were sold into slavery 400 years ago, celebrations of remembrance and reflection were held by those working to keep this history alive for future generations. Bobby Joe Willis, who attended Saturday's events, says the best way to respect the past is to make a better future by bringing together people from different backgrounds and races. We can begin to build and see how uh, people can work together as people. The co this country was built together as a community of people that work together, black and white. But to, to get back to that, where neighbors help, neighbors helping neighbors, is how all this was able to come about. Another attendee, Michael Smith, says learning more about slave history makes him even more concerned about divisions in society where he says gun violence and increase in tolerance demand that leaders work toward greater respect for human dignity, not just respect for the rule of law. From the 60s when they made uh, amendments to constitutions and, and laws and so forth, it was band-aids, it wasn't actual progress, it was kind of an illusion to mask and, and you know, get the, the media, the, the initial people, to believe that we made progress. Um, so right now I feel like that band-aid has been ripped off and people are actually seeing what actually exists and what hasn't changed. Cameroon traditional chief Njang John came to the ceremonies from a part of his country that is experiencing conflict between government forces and members of the English-speaking minority. He says, marking the history of slavery is a chance for stronger bonds between Africa and the United States, but only if leaders celebrate with honesty. The black Americans who were brought here to slavery should now find their roots back in Africa so that we come to be together. No matter wherever you are, you are an African. If you are black, let's form a, a, a greater race and become strong to fight the, the world. The, the global economy that is going up now. The 1619 anniversary is also being remembered in many African countries where the focus has been on unity and reconciliation. Kenneth Buire, VON News, Norfolk, Virginia.